Good morning. It's a cold and gray morning here in Seattle. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest in July. It's my birthday this week, so I'm heading up to Vancouver Island for a trip that I tried to do last year, a little bit too early in the season, and got caught in rain and snow. So today, I'm gonna head north across the Canadian border, over to the ferry terminal at Sawasan, and from there to Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. From Nanaimo, I'll head up the coast to Qualicum Beach, one of my favorite little towns on the inside coast of Vancouver Island, and that's where I'll make my first night. Tomorrow morning, my birthday, I'll wake up and slowly make my way across the island to Tofino. Let's go. gas. Obviously the weather's set in a bit. Not terribly unexpected uh, given the forecast. But it is supposed to clear up after today so today's just a travel day. And after today hopefully it will be a lot nicer.
time on board the We are moving. I'm on board the <laughs> BC Ferries Coastal Inspiration, headed to Nanaimo. <coughs> Almost didn't make it. The weather delayed me a little bit, and uh, sometimes that's what happens. If I had taken the next one, it would have been fine, but uh, great to have just been squeezed in at the last minute, even though that did mean I'm on the lowest deck with all the big trucks. Not a bad bit of lunch. A bit on the pricey side. About 25 Canadian, so that's what, 18 US. Not unexpected for something like this. These ferries are are huge. But compared to Washington State Ferries. They're bigger, but they have better food. We'll wander around a little bit later. Sure, what this is, but it's closed. came down to deck five, which is a bit smaller, at least internally, but has this nice wraparound deck, which I can only assume is a lot more pleasant than the top sun deck when it's raining. And looks like inside there's another small cafe that's closed. Probably only open on weekends or busy times. Off in the distance, the city of Vancouver. That's the mainland over there. And around to the left is Vancouver Island. The city of Vancouver is actually not on Vancouver Island. Yeah. Makes no sense, but that's the way it is. It's turning into a pretty nice day. Had some rain on the ride up here, but I've experienced worse. For now, nice relaxing time. And here is the view out the back. 
Vancouver Island over there. City of Vancouver around that way. Finally made it into Qualicum Beach. Made a quick stop for refreshments and hotel should be ready for checking in uh, right about now. So going to head down to the coast and over to the hotel. Then maybe take a bit of a rest before I wander out for dinner and other things.
This is the Sand Pebbles Motel. Nice place, I've never stayed here before. Qualcomm Beach has been one of my favorites, but this isn't a spot I've stayed. They lost a bit of their seawall in the King Tide last year, but seem to have restored something of it. Give some access to the beach. Room is serviceable. No issues, really. The only thing I'd point out is there is no air conditioning here. So, in the hottest part of the year, that could be an issue for some people. Uh, I didn't find it to be a problem, but it's also not very hot right now. We overlook a... Chinese and fish and chips restaurant. That is actually not a terribly unusual thing to find in this part of Canada. Beach House dress Restaurant. It's not bad, I've eaten there before. And as I said, Chinese food and fish and chips. Tide is nice and high tonight. If it had been just a little sunnier and warmer when I got here, I might have decided to dive in. Instead, I decided to take a bit of a rest needed it after being up early and riding this far in the rain. Tomorrow I'll surely experience some water. I think that big black cloud over there is what I was riding in most of the day. Somehow it only reappeared when I was riding. Uh, did not happen when I was on the ferry. No rain since I got here. But just while I was riding, there just always seemed to be a little light drizzle. Hopefully not a sign of things to come. The deer are not bothered by anything. Have grass, will munch. Looks like the place to go is fish and chips by the beach. So fish and chips and a beer can't be any better or worse than fish and chips in any other place. And Look at this view. And isn't that great? First birthday dinner. Lots of lemon. Oh. Well, all in all, today's been a good day. Bit wet at the start, bit of a rush for the ferry, and shut out of my favorite restaurant, but this was superb. Uh, the fish and chips just here on the beach at the uh, Qualicum Beach, whatever this place is called, I'll put it in the notes, were excellent. Open till 8, so I've got 8 minutes to finish my beer. Well, that was great. Nothing today has been exactly the plan, but the plans 
as with most of my trips, were pretty vague. One of the nice things about going solo and why I do it so often is I don't have to make too many plants. I can adjust on the fly, enjoy whatever comes my way, and yes, sometimes I get shut out. It's part of the deal. Thank you. 